when we came here, the, the program was definitely struggling, and we kind of figured all we could do is improve. We, could, you know, we, we weren't going to go down in the Big 12. Struggling is an understatement. Perennial doormat would be more like it. Before Christy Johnson Lynch arrived at Iowa State, the Cyclones had endured nine straight losing seasons and a combined Big 12 record of 13 and 167. I mean, it was never really a program you wanted to watch or a program you watched in general because you knew that, you know, they weren't very good. And, you know, you don't, when you're younger, you want to watch the best teams. You know, you want to play for the best teams when you get older. So I never really realized it until I got here that it was that bad. But under Johnson Lynch, something strange started happening. The Cyclones started winning. They posted a winning record each year since she took the reins, including a berth in the NCAA tournament the last three seasons. And last year, the success culminated in a trip to the Elite Eight. When we first came, I really didn't have much of a, a long-range plan. I just thought, let's kind of see how it goes. Um, you know, it was my first head coaching job, so I didn't even know how I would do if I would be successful at all. So I think our first couple of years, we just kind of waited to see what happened. And then as we had success and as I kind of figured out what we could be good at and, and what our niche was going to be, um, we developed a five-year plan and... Um, you know, in our five-year plan, we had Sweet 16 last year, and we made it to the Elite Eight. So we have goals, certainly, and sometimes I, we exceed those goals, and that's, you know, that makes for a pretty special year. I honestly think it's the confidence that the coaches, you know, put in us, whereas before, you know, the attitude around here was just terrible. You know, it was like, we're going to lose, but now it's we're going to win, and the coaches have just come and turned around the program, just the attitude around the program. And I feel that we've had a lot of success with bringing in a lot of just local talent that is very athletic and maybe not um, as skilled or as polished, um, but we've had a lot of success just bringing in those type of players and training them really well and having them come along, you know, over two, three, four years, they become great players. So although we still will continue to go after the, the high profile players and we'll recruit nationwide, we also want to continue what we've had a lot of success with. Currently, Iowa State is ranked 13th in the nation and is a legitimate contender in the Big 12. Their 6-2 and two starting conference play is the best in school history. But with success comes expectations. I think it also more would be put a lot of pressure than maybe not momentum, especially in volleyball, because you know now all of a sudden people are like, wow, you're ranked, you know, you're a top 15 team, you know, you've got to do good and you have to win these games. We're not going to take that for granted, the fact that we, we did achieve a lot the last couple years. We still have to continue to work really, really hard just to stay at this level and continue to get better. And if the pass is any indication, they probably will. In Ames, Iowa, I'm Sam Newman for the Big 12 Report.